Well, I suppose in the course of the year, the player most often requested for an interview, especially by young people, is our next guest, Derek Sanderson. And uh, Derek, uh, you've had kind of a tough year from the injury part of it all, haven't you? Well, bad one all the way around. Now tell me, has that great playoff line that got going uh, last year so well, is it ever going to be reconstructed or not? Well, uh, Glenn Sather was part of it. He got mm -hmm. traded, and uh, we've had our difficulties with me being out, and uh, Wayne Carlton uh, getting hurt in Cashman, and Ace Bailey breaking his leg, and there's a lot of uh, things. So the third line is still a uh, basically a checking line, but uh, I just hope it can just do its job it's supposed to do. Now your basic job is to go against the number one line, especially when you're at home, eh? Yeah, we handle, uh, on the road, the other opposing coaches won't allow us to uh, really uh, play against who we want. So at home, we play against the big units, and uh, we get Makita and Bellavo and those guys. Eddie Westfall does a fantastic job uh, at defensive part of the game, and uh, he's really helped him. Derek, in the course of this past year, you've received uh, lots of publicity, national magazines, mm -hmm. uh, uh, television shows, and you're quite the swashbuckler according to the stories. Are you really that much of a swashbuckler? I don't know. It's uh, the freedom of the press. They can print what they want. I don't know. I just uh, say something and they just uh, repeat it. I don't know. I just like to enjoy life. That's all. <laughs> Derek, what is your attitude towards uh, the publicity that you get? Well, a lot of it's uh, good, a lot of it's bad, and uh, whether it's good or bad it doesn't bother as long as they keep saying something about you. And then if they say something that isn't correct, you have a chance for a yeah, follow-up story? Yeah, then you get a follow-up story, and then you get another one printed about the guy being put down the first time, and everybody just keeps right. Mm -hmm. Does this incidentally help, of course, when it comes to contract negotiation time or not? No, not at all, but uh, in the off-season it'll help in other things like mm -hmm. endorsements and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Derek, what about the story that uh, came up last summer that, gee, Derek Sanderson's going to wear white skates this year? I was, uh, everybody was uh, fooling around. They knew I was going to go in with uh, Namath and Bachelors 3, and uh, consequently, everybody says, uh, if you're going in business with them, you're going to wear white skates. And it was a joke, and I just mentioned it again to some reporter that I was going to try him, and he blew the story out of proportion and uh, kept on going, and uh, I just sat back and read some... <laughs> Can you really about. see yourself in white skates? No, <laughs> no, not at all. It's, uh, I don't want to try to Americanize the game that much. Uh, I wouldn't wear white skates, I don't think. Incidentally, one of the other teams, of course, has gone to color Minnesota, skates. Uh, no, St. Louis has got mm -hmm. uh, blue skates. The whole team's got blue skates, but uh, I think they look a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Nobody can intimidate you with blue skates on, I know that. <laughs> and Derek, getting back to Boston and you're heading into the playoffs last year, of course, it was an exciting playoff time, but you missed out. Do you think the team is in good position and just as strong as last year or not? Well, uh, if we had Teddy Green, Teddy Green was our leader. He was our big man, a terrific asset to the club. If we had Greeny, we'd be walking away with it, I'm pretty sure. But right now, the way it is, uh, Bobby Orr is uh, taking up the slack and playing great, and I think we'll be able to uh, win the Stanley Cup. Derek, thank you for being with us, and best of good luck. Thank you, you Ward.